What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And I've been getting a lot of questions since the uh, the most recent Madden 19 tuning update. And um, we're going to go ahead and jump into some of those things right now. What I'm going to ask everybody to do that watches this video is please go ahead and like it. Let's go ahead and see the highest sky limit that we could get the likes to. We're not even going to put a number on it, but thank you guys so much in advance. This is what we're going to talk about right now, okay? This part I can validate for you um, in its entirety, all right? Jimmy Graham is a savage, okay? Some of you guys have given me, um, what's the other guy? You gave me Greg Olson. You guys give me Travis Kelsey. Uh, the other Kansas City guy. What's the other dude? Um, the tall dude. What, I can't remember what the guy's name is. Um, let me go to this thing and see. He's one of the other legends. Um, I think I still have his legend card there at the tight end position. Um, he should be like a 72, right? Not Jerry. Tony Gonzalez. Uh, these guys are 6'5 and above, and what most people have been experiencing since the most recent tuning update is maximum moss action. All right, now, to be honest with you, there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. If EA wants you to get mossed, you are going to get mossed, and not only are you going to get mossed, you're probably going to start liking it. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, eventually, like, I just start getting semis. You guys know what I mean by the semis. If you don't know, you better ask somebody. But that's neither here nor there. That's not what this is about. What this is about is, should you go after the taller receivers? Uh, should you go after Calvin, even though he doesn't have a physical chem slot? That's a very interesting question. That that right there, um, you know, would it benefit you to get a Calvin? Is there, would they eventually release, a, um, you know, an update for him where he would be able to get a power-up or um, a, tr a physical chem slot? Would that be able to um, entice some of you to go after it, including myself? Because this is literally the first year where I have no interest in Calvin Johnson. And it kind of sucks because he really is a decent player. Um, but you can see his price has plummeted all the way down to 590. This is disgusting. Calvin Johnson, this early in the year, should never be this cheap. And the reasoning behind it is because of the lack of consistency within the chemistries to allow this man to be able to have a physical chem. Because if he was able to have a physical chem, everybody would be on this, okay? Even without the, um, the power-up. Because with the physical chem, we could still get him at 94. 94, 65, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's working out a little bit better. You could do the chems, get him up higher. Um, it, it is something that I don't really like. Will they eventually go ahead and fix this and make it so that now he can do something? That's also entirely possible. That is absolutely entirely possible. But it's no guarantee with it. So I don't want to get anybody's hopes up. I don't want it to be something that it's not going to be and say, yeah, it's guaranteed. Like, I only give predictions based on what I think is going to happen, based on what has already happened in previous Maddens. I don't know what they're going to do with this. They've given other people, you know, power-ups and added physical chems after the fact. I don't know why they would leave this card like this. And then also, he's probably going to get an out-of-position free safety card. They usually do that. I don't see why they would not do that during Christmas, uh, give them an uh, you know, out-of-position card. Maybe during that time, they might just say, you know what, we kind of screwed the pooch on this one. We'll go ahead and give you a physical chem so you could go ahead and upgrade Calvin Johnson or make him a power-up and release him to the card. That's kind of wishful thinking, though, because this is an October card, and then you jump it right into December, unless they give you a Randy Moss first. In which case, if they do give you the Randy Moss upgrade, you won't even really need Calvin Johnson. That's what's actually interesting about this entire thing. You literally will not need Calvin Johnson once they upgrade Randy Moss again because there is no way on God's green earth that they will not make him be able to get 99 speed through chems because they've already given it to Tyreek Hill. And we all know how fast Randy Moss was. So when you look at these prices, you got to understand, like, th this is, it's a reason for it. Okay, it's an absolute reason for it why his price is so low this early, and it really is disgusting, but it is what it is. It's only four of them available, and you can see that you know, one idiot is at 800k. You know, what I'm saying probably I don't know what he's doing, bro. Probably walking around in a SpongeBob G string in his mama's basement. I don't know what he's doing, but it doesn't really matter. You can see that people are willing to let him go for this price, even though he's a very, very big bodied receiver. Now, understand. Calvin Johnson is probably going to be most useful in the red zone. Will he be able to moss you in quadruple coverage? Yes, but some of us might view that as dangerous. Most bums will not. You see, that's the catch. A lot of bums will not, they, they won't view it as extremely dangerous. They'll continue to do the madness. 
We, however, that try to play the game, you know what I'm saying, on a different type of, you know, try to figure out what we're doing. Me, me personally right now, I don't even care about schemes. I just come out and I'm just going to do, I'm doing anything I want now. But I'm just saying before the game was just becoming what it is right now, I would try to do different things and see what I can get away with, whatever. Um, at this point right now, I'm trying to moss anybody. Like if my mom went out on the field, I'm mossing her too. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, oh, you out there? Okay, take this moss. That's pretty much where I am with it right now. But that doesn't mean that everything has to cater to the aggressive catch. I want to make sure that everybody understands. Speed, it matters, but not that much. Like, bro, put it like this. Most of you guys that are watching this that play Madden has actually thrown the ball to a wide open receiver with nobody around in the middle of the field. And a safety has run him down and jumped in front and picked the ball when he was ahead of him. Those things started happening after the patch in Madden 16, and EA has never been able to fix it. So a lot of what, when I say speed is very, very key, if somebody kicks the ball up to you and you have Deion Sanders and he gets out in front, usually now you won't get caught unless it's like Mean Joe Green. He'll, he'll chase you down. You know what I'm saying, bro? Mean Joe Green will chase down Deion Sanders, but if it's somebody else that's faster, sometimes they won't, all right? So now that we understand exactly what's going on, most of you guys are saying, look, it makes no sense. I might as well get the taller players and try to moss people. All right, that's fair. That makes sense, right? But again, when you look at what happens with Randy Moss, Randy Moss is more likely to be the player that you would use over Calvin Johnson just because he's faster. You see what I'm saying? Because he going to a 92 speed with John Madden coach and then having to, you know, get 30 Lions players to add another, it is too much. That's why I like the fact that they were able to make Tyreek Hill a 99 speed without adding 50 or whatever amount of Kansas City Chiefs players for that chemistry. That's very huge. So in my opinion, Randy Moss will still probably be the better uh, player to have because you know you have that additional step. With Calvin, if you lob the ball, if you listen, put it like this, right? You're never going to beat anybody over the top if you lob it. And depending on the defense that they're that they're in, when they click on, EA gives them a speed burst in their butt cheeks, and then they end up above you. It's very, very stupid. It makes absolutely no sense. And it's been going on for four years, and it really needs to stop. But that's not what this is about, okay? That's not what it's about. What this is about is being able to abuse the fact that you can moss anyone at any time and nothing really matters all right that's what this is all about that's what i'm trying to make sure that everybody understands so look put it like this if you decide to go after that calvin johnson right and you spend the money and ea sports never gives him the opportunity because remember by the time all of this stuff is all said and done i think everybody is probably going to be adjusted to be able to get the physical chem it's about right now do you want to spend this kind of coin right now in the hopes that ea is going to do that or do you want to just wait for another card that they might release that you don't even need to power up and you could just put a physical chem on them because they might do it right by then and then you just go from there there's way too many options my thing is i don't want you guys to spend unnecessary coin because if it comes back to haunt you it's like yo why would he recommend that why would he recommend for me to do that and then now, you know what I'm saying, this dude is garbage. Like, if you look at this, right, the five, the other one that was just there, it's gone now. So I don't know if somebody bought it or the person took it down. Doesn't really matter, right? Because it was 590 and this is just 602. Regardless of what they're doing with it, it doesn't really matter. You see what I'm saying? It, it doesn't matter what, they, what they're doing with it. The player is still going to play specifically, you know, just look, you know, the speed wise and everything like that, he's going to play like that 91, 92 speed. And ultimately, other than the red zone, you can't really, it's no use because you want to get past people in the open field because everything as far as route running and stuff like that, it's nickel and diming it. There's so many receivers that give you all that, but Calvin's height and lack of the physical uh, slot, that's what causes the issue. And that's why his price is so low. So would, what would I recommend? I would say to you guys, you know what, T.Y. Hilton. Why T.Y. Hilton? When you power him up, he's a 97 speed. Dude got a crazy spec catch. Will he? See, he won't go up the way that Randy Moss will go up. But he'll go up in certain situations and get a crazy animation. But then again, in the red zone, I also have Jimmy Graham. That also goes back to the fact that I'm specifically stating in the red zone. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm not just out there having Jimmy Graham run routes and being stupid. He's literally out there for a specific reason. 
I'm going to throw the ball up in the air as high as I can, and I'm going to moss you. Now, is it worth an experimental value to go ahead and look for Calvin or go into the set and try to see if you can, you know, put, put the set together and get the cards and do it like that? Is that worth it? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, the way that my team is set up right now, I already have Randy over there. If, if I, you know, you only need one big receiver. That's all you really need. If you go from there, um, everything else is kind of weird. You see what I'm saying? Like, these guys, I don't think it's worth it based on what's going on. And you can see, like, 145. Um, I think they had Jimmy Graham up to, like, 200K or something like that the other day. Because, okay, there's none of them in the store. People are looking to get that speed and that height. Kelvin Benjamin, a.k.a. Queen Latifah. You, you guys can figure out ways to do it. But if you do it through the set, it's going to obviously be a million. And nobody got time for that. So, you know, going through all of that, that's one way to get that, that situation done with him. In that case, completing the set is one of the rare situations where that's just a ripoff set. There's no way you're going to make out with that set unless you pulled some of those cards. But all in all, um, you know, if you guys wanted to experiment with that situation, you know, you could feel free to go ahead and do that. I just wouldn't recommend it primarily because of what I'm just stating to you now. It's just not a good look uh, for, you know, for what you're doing as far as getting over the top. Um, does he catch the ball better than other receivers? I don't think so. I've, I've seen people use Calvin in stream, and he drops the ball just like everybody else. So there's really no um, – it's not really a huge factor uh, to, to what's going on with it. I don't really see a reason – why anybody should spend the coin right now with the way that it is all right so this is just a situation where if you wanted to take the risk because of where everything is going on right now you could go ahead and do that and um you know see what happens with it but he's not going to be able to do anything really spectacular until you're in the red zone you know what i'm saying so if you want to spend that money to sub him in only for that other than that bro he's not really doing anything now, well, as far as like the smaller speeded receivers like Tyreek Hill, T.Y. Hilton, I would definitely recommend those guys over him at this current juncture, uh, juncture while he does not have a physical chem. All right. So that should explain everything that's going on as far as that, because everybody's going crazy with the aggressive catch and everybody's trying to figure out like, yo, Gma, should I do this? Should I do that? So I'm just letting you guys understand. That's why Jimmy Graham is there. And I have Randy Moss. All right. So Jimmy Graham is straight red zone. Randy Moss is all-purpose with the 94 speed. Obviously, he's nowhere near the 97 or the 99 of Tyreek Hill, but he's a big body. He gets up for the spec catch, and he can do exactly what um, Calvin Johnson would be brought in to do. But then I would have no real space for Calvin. You see what I'm saying? Because I only work with three receivers, and these two speedy dudes, they're very, very useful. You know what I'm saying? So that means I would have to bench Randy Moss. Why would I do that? You know what I'm saying, bro? So it is what it is in that regard. Let me know if you have any other questions or comments, but the aggressive catch is back 17 times fold. You know what I'm saying, bro? So just be very careful out there. Weekend league, whatever, it's going to get crazy. I'm going to talk to you guys and girls next time. One love.